Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Teller. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. Today is the fourth and final video in a very short series on Continual Service Improvement, CSI for short. We adapted this series from a BMC white paper, and I encourage you to look down in the description as we have more the links to a play a link to a playlist with many many other CSI videos. So I want to talk about the seven step improvement process that ITIL defines. This seven step improvement process is integrated with the dimming cycle as well as the uh, data information knowledge wisdom um, model. I, I don't know what you would call it with the data info knowledge wisdom other than you'll see that as a graph and as you move further out, you enrich your data to have information, enrich your information for knowledge. And as you move towards wisdom, it helps you with your decision making. So your seven step improvement process uses both of these. And so improvement can be made across the ITIL lifecycle with each stage of lifecycle support, giving feedback to the other stages for a collaborative, coordinated improvements. So let's talk about these seven steps. Identify the strategy for improvement. Define the metrics. Gather data. Process the data. Analyze the data. Use the data for improvement decisions and implement improvements. So special attention should be given to economic value of improvements because we want bang for our buck. Sorry, that's a U.S. term because all organizations have to recover the cost for the service delivered in order to exist. We have to make sure it's financially feasible. Financial management concepts and metrics pertaining to return on investment, total cost of ownership, things of that nature will come into play. So let's talk very briefly about those seven steps. We need to identify the strategy that we want to, to underga undertake. Then we need to define the metrics that we want to use to help propel our service improvement initiative. We want to gather data for those metrics. We want to process the data. We want to analyze that data so we know how our initiative is going to go. We want to then use that data for improvement decisions. And lastly, implement the improvements. So, you can see how once we implement our improvements, it drops us back up step one of identify the strategy. So we could implement, see the results, and then come back and try that same seven-step model again. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. Please like or share the video. Subscribe to our channel. Leave me feedback below, and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. I hope you have a great, great day. Bye.